Hey everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're going to go through the 2007 Chevrolet Malibu, where we are dealing with the seized brake caliper. I know, I know, very crazy problem, but this is one that we can definitely fix ourselves, and we are going to do it. I got Xavier, I got my beautiful wife Misha out here helping me with and we are going to knock this out the average price of this repair is $240 and yes that is just for one side guys so you are going to save yourselves a few hundred dollars if you're uh, doing both the fronts so on the seize brake caliper indications that you do have a seize brake caliper is uh, the vehicle will be hesitant when the gas is applied uh, this is because the brakes are already applied and they are constantly applied because you have a seized brake caliper. Also, a great, uh, another great indicator is the brakes will feel applied at a certain corner of the vehicle, even if you are not pressing on the brake pedal itself. Do also try to remember which corner uh, you are getting that pulling from, the uh, constant braking from. That way you know which brake caliper to look into, see if it is seized, or maybe you just have no brake fluid. You also need to start there because it's always nice to start with the basics and then move up from there. You never want to start with the, you know, most catastrophic thing, you know, oh, instead of getting your engine oil replaced, you are replacing the engine, you know, so it doesn't make any sense. All right, so uh, another uh, great indicator is the brakes will feel frozen in place when you are trying to accelerate from a dead stop. Okay, so if any of these indicators are actually happening, you definitely need to look into one of your brake calipers are seizing up and is not operating like it should. Okay, so how to fix a seized brake caliper? Well, there's only one. Uh, one fix for that and it's to replace the bad caliper you do have to replace it so uh problems that i ran into uh while doing this repair in this video well the incorrect bracket that i needed for my brake caliper was sent to me so that was a, a real big negative and uh a negative side about that i know you're thinking oh it's just a brake you know uh, caliper bracket no that brake caliper bracket also has your sliders on it so if you have old sliders hey i just bought a new bracket i want my new sliders as well i don't want that old junk you know all gunked up debris all in there i just want my new bracket with sliders so hey make sure that the bracket that you get fits with your vehicle that way you can slide that on get your vehicle back on the road and save yourself hundreds of dollars so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet now is definitely the time to smash that subscribe button hit the like button if this video helped you get your vehicle back on the road make sure you stay tuned for even more diy auto repair videos right here on the channel also we are working on a couple of amazing detroit diesel these are turbo diesel engines and we are going to breathe some life back into these beautiful engines and uh one's got 1900 hours on it the other one has 2200 hours on it so not even close to overhaul time uh one does need the starter rebuilt and uh, the charging system needs rebuilt on the entire system. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. We will make sure we throw that on the channel as well because that is going to be a, a very, very fun project. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, if you guys do have any questions about the project that you are working on right now, make sure that you throw them in the video description down below or not the video description, but the comment section down below. And I'll go ahead and answer that as soon as I can and help you get your vehicle back on the road. So thank you again, guys, for checking out another great episode right here on the channel. And until next time, guys, hey, keep on wrenching. Take care.